Hi there. In this tutorial, we will be looking at how to use Smart SVN to tap into an existing SVN server, a repository, rather, and uh, and tapping into that and creating a, um, a working copy on your desktop, uh, so you can integrate any changes to a project to the master copy. Um, for this, as I said, I'll be using Smart SVN, and the project that I will be tapping into will be a Unity-based project. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is we want to create an empty folder uh, anywhere in your computer. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm just going to do one right here on my desktop. So I right-click and I hit New Folder. And let's go ahead and uh, rename this folder. And I'm going to call this folder Test. Again, you can call this whatever you like. You can name it the, the project name if you want. But like I said, I'm just going to do Test for this one. We're going to hit enter. So, and later in the tutorial, we're going to use this empty folder. But for now, uh, this is all we're going to do with it. Next thing you want to do is you want to open up your browser, and we're going to search for Smart SVN. And it's the first thing here. So let's go ahead and click on that. And I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to download the Mac version. Uh, if you're on a Windows, you can download the Windows version as well. And so that should take a second to download. I keep that okay. Looks like I downloaded it before, but here it is downloading and uh, one more time. Once that's finished downloading, let's go ahead and open that guy. And this is version 9.2.2. Um, you can use a newer version if it's available. I think at the time of this tutorial, this is the latest version available. All right, so now here it is. I'm going to go ahead and open it right here by clicking Smart SVN 9.2. It's going to ask me, do you want to open it? It's from the internet. Um, and yeah, I do. So I'm going to open. Now, the next screen, you, let me go ahead and close this one and I'll also close or minimize my browser. Just looking at program edition, we have to hit the I understand and agree to all terms. Uh, and then they have the free professional edition for 31 days and then this can be fine uh, until you decide to upgrade or, or buy um, a registered version. Uh, but for this tutorial we're going to be using the free version. The free version has all the same uh, features as the professional or the feature version. Um, but it's just free, and then after 31 days, you don't get to things like ignore or there, there's other commands you don't get, but we can talk about that later. Uh, automatically send, you, you can send them if you want, sure, continue. Um, for this tutorial, I don't want assistance because, as I said, this is about connecting to an existing repository. So my repository is already set up. All right, and then we click finish, and then it will open. Okay, so here's the fun part. We want to check out a project from a repository. Now there's other options here. You have open existing working copy, import a project to the repository. Um, so if you already had a project, so if you had an empty repository that had been set up by an administrator, you could import your project that you've already been working on that's not under version control, and you could import that into the repository. You can also open up an existing working copy, meaning that you've already got a um, a project on your computer that's already been under version control with the SVN server and you could go ahead and open up your existing working copy. But for this one we don't have a working copy right now and we're going to be checking out a working copy from the server. So we're going to check out project from the repository. Make sure that's clicked then hit OK. And this is where we're going to put in the URL of our repository. Now, your administrator should have emailed you um, for a URL. If you're if you're one of my if you're one of my students, then you would um, I would have emailed you. And if not, email me. Um, but if you're using this at another company or, uh, or somewhere else, then whoever's in charge of your repository should have emailed you a URL. Um, but um, give me one second. I'm going to look at my URL. I'm just going to copy and paste that over. Your administrator should give you a password and a username, all that good stuff too. So we're gonna 
paste this URL right in here. This is my URL. We're going to continue. And then it should give you a message that says if it's the first time you've been connecting, you tried connecting to the, the server, it will give you an option. Confirm the server certificate. In this case, this is the computer I'm using. And I know this is secure because I set it up. Uh, so it says it's not issued by a trust, uh, trusted authority. Use the fingerprint validate uh, to validate the certificate manually. And we're going to do that, so I'm going to confirm. And this is where you put in your username and password that your administrator of your server should have given you. And I'm going to go ahead and put in my credentials. And I'm going to save password because I don't like always having to type this in if I'm in a hurry. We're going to log in. And then the next screen is going to ask you if you want to use a master password. Um, I don't really use these, so I'm going to hit do, don't use one, but feel free to, to use a master password if you like for that you know, extra security. And we hit OK, and it should take a second. OK, so the next screen you see is you'll see the head or, or the root folder of your project. And for the purposes of this, we this should be left alone in default as long as this root folder here is highlighted. It shows you the things that are in the project. This is a test project, so it's really small. But yeah, you'll click that, and then you're going to hit continue. It's going to ask you, do you really want to check it out? Yes, I do. We're going to check out. Now, this is where you point this local directory here. This guy, you're going to point that to the empty folder that you made uh, at the beginning of the tutorial. So we're going to click this folder button here. And then we're just going to point to where, in this case, I put it on my desktop. And I called it test. And then we're going to open. After that, now it should be pointing to that. Leave everything else as is. Then we're going to continue. Again, this screen comes up. Um, it's asking to select whether to check out a work and copy or to export files only. It should be left as is because we're adding a new project. We're going to finish. And as you can see down here on the left, let me try to make this a little bigger for you. As you can see down here on the left, pull this up a bit. It added into my folder everything that was in um, everything that was in the repository. As we saw on that previous screen, there's only two folders, but here's everything that added and let you know it tells you what it kind of what it was and the status and this this and this status says it was all added. And we know it's added because we're checkout revision one. As it says right there. Now, if you uh, pull it later and it's a different revision, uh, usually when you pull it the first time, it will pull the latest revision. Um, and we can talk about revisions later. So now, just to check and see if we actually have it in our folder, we'll minimize this. Let's open up the empty folder that we created earlier. Again, mine is right here on the desktop. And we can see that it pulled in the assets and the project settings, which is what should be expected. And that's and now you successfully have tapped into the SVN server and you downloaded the project. In the next video, we will explore opening that project, uh, making some changes, and then submitting changes to the server. And so look out for that video coming up next. Thanks, and always comment in, uh, in the comment section or email me if you have any questions. Thanks. Have a good day.